everyone and welcome back to another tutorial with Oscar Lars Painting Studio. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to layer paint on a skull without using washes. So it's a practice tutorial for how to layer your paint and get smooth layers. We hope you're going to enjoy this tutorial. Let's begin. When layering without using washes, we need to make sure we have enough contrast to give the final skull enough value to properly emphasize the three dimensionality of the skull. So in the first step, I am starting by applying Steel Legion Drab to the whole skull as a base coat. I make sure I get the paint into the eye socket and all other hard to reach spots. Apply the light. For this, I am using Sandry Dust. I apply the Sandry Dust to all the areas where the light would hit from the direction of its source. I chose the light to come from above. So here you can see how much of the skull we actually cover with the Xandri dust. Now I am taking the Xandri dust and I mix it with Ushapti bone to create a bridge between the pure Xandri dust and the pure Ushapti bone layers. I go for about a middle between the two, but that would require a bit more Ushapti bone than Xandri dust. With this layer, we define the major surfaces of the skull, such as the brow line and the top of the cranium, etc. This is an optional step here, but for extra smooth work, you can make a quick bridge mix, which is a three quarter mix to a Shapti bone, meaning that we take a little bit more Shapti bone and mix it into the middle bridge mix we already had. We apply this only at crucial locations where the layers would show through easier, such as the brow line and the cranium. This helps to render a smoother transition. Now we go to the Pura Shapti bone. We apply this in the same manner as before. Here we can utilize the translucency of the paint to create a nice smooth layer. We make sure we hit all the edges and teeth and minor detail like that. Here we mix the Ushapti bone and Screaming Skull to create the same type of 50-50 mix bridge. We keep highlighting this skull the same manner as we did earlier, but making sure that we uh, keep the layers smaller and smaller as we go, not to cover up the work that we have already rendered. Keeping with the same practice, we apply a layer of pure Screaming Skull. You should now be able to see some really nice transitions right there on the side of the cranium. Within one of the last steps here, I take some pure Pallid Witch Flesh for some reflections and final touches. I apply this in places such as the top of the cranium, eyebrow line, top of the nose, uh, and the bottom of the jaw. I also hit those teeth. Lastly, I look over for any cleanups and grab the appropriate colors. For my cleanup here, I used Steel Legion Drab to get rid of that white dot above the tooth. And that's it! We hope you enjoy this tutorial on how to layer smooth transitions, and we hope to see you next time. Happy painting! This video was made possible by our amazing patrons who kindly donate to keep this public project going. If you want to become a patron, don't hesitate to head over to our page and pledge a subscription. We post some longer videos from time to time with more in-depth material when we have it to spare. You can also contribute by shopping some Oscar Lars Studio merchandise. The links to these are down in the video description. The intro video was created by Robbie Shillstone. The editing was done by the amazing Martin Kramer. The sculpt we used was a skull from Warhammer Age of Sigmar by Games Workshop. The palette and painting handle used are from Redgrass Games. Please don't forget to smash those like and subscribe buttons and happy painting.